Let's discuss the appropriate level of personal protective equipment, or PPE, for medical personnel treating victims. Remember, it's critical to protect yourself so you don't become a victim. Although official protocols may differ from state to state, there are federal guidelines that must be followed when an employee works in a contaminated environment. Depending on the hazard, PPE may include dermal protective ensembles and respiratory protection devices. The Federal Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, has developed standards applicable to those situations where respiratory protection is required for workers. Standards are described in Title 29 of the Code of Federal Regulations, Parts 1910-120 and 1910-134. There are four levels of PPE, A, B, C, and D. The type of PPE used depends on whether the contaminant is known or unknown, the method of potential exposure, vapor, aerosol, or liquid, and the type of respiratory protection required. There are basically two types of respirators, air purifying and those that supply their own air called atmosphere supplying. Air purifying respirators pass the ambient or outside air through a filter element or canister to remove gaseous or particulate contaminants from the outside air. Air flow across the filter may be generated by negative flow or inhalation, or through positive pressure from a blower from a powered air purifying device. Negative pressure full face piece respirators are used by the military to protect against chemical agent vapors and aerosols. Air is pulled across the gas particulate canister during inhalation. Atmosphere supplying respirators provide air to the wearer independent of the outside toxic atmosphere. Self-contained breathing apparatus, referred to as SCBA, provide air from a backpack or a tank on the user's back. Some medical facilities use a common source of uncontaminated air to supply several respirators at once. Atmosphere supplying respirators are used in levels A and B PPE.